think it might be my turn because it's been a while since there's been a Kara scene. But you just had a Connor scene. Yeah. But it might be your turn, yes. So oh, since I sin since we were so surprised about uh, Connor's reappearance, we forgot to switch controls at that one. So I got two Connor scenes in a row, which means that uh, Anna is gonna get two Connor scenes in a row now. And considering these are the only scenes where something happened so far, yeah. That's oh yeah, Cara. this is Kara. Here you go. Thank you. Is it Kara or Kara? I keep forgetting. Kara, Kara. All right. He Todd should be snoring. <gasps> probably coked out of his gourd. Yep, there's the drugs. You can see them. Mm-hmm. It's raining. It's just thunder. There's... Dinner is ready. It's probably... Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. This seems ominous already. Yeah. Serve food. No, we're not gonna serve food. We're gonna do something else instead. Oh, see? I'm standing in front of the TV, Todd. You hate when I do that. Oh, I guess not. Can we talk to the toddler? No. 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 <laughs> she is non interactive She's not a toddler. Ooh. Turn off the light. Or on? Right on. Uh, <gasps> yep, yep. Turn on the light. Ooh, that was a secret. <laughs> Uh, let's go upstairs. Nope, I'm not allowed to go upstairs. Oh, these controls, I forgot how janky they are. I know, they're so annoying. Uh, serve food. Can I turn on the lights in here? No. Can I go outside? No. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I can take something here. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. I make the spaghetti. It's, they are only watching hockey in this house. All right. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Now I will go into the corner and eat some yummy electricity. Serve out. Wait. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. I'm gonna pour for dog. Androids are so fucking wonderful. You have to be nice to Todd. <laughs> they never fail. They never tired. They never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. You know, the other day, while I was just taking a shower, what are you looking at? Yeah. I was thinking, what's your fucking problem? Jesus Christ, Todd. Huh. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. I guess it is. My fault your fucking mother took off. Probably that you too. Stop taking drugs, Todd. Yes. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Mm -hmm. Bitch took off without a word. Oh, well, you're kind of going up the deep end here. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account, damn It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Uh... Get back here. Todd, you're kind of becoming a cartoon little back if here? you weren't already one. Come back here right now. Uh... Is he going to take it out on the android? Yes. Probably. Stay oh. there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Don't move. Do you think we should move? Took off and it's your word. playing. I could have been happy. The prompt is to not move. I could have had a family. But no! The question here is do we move? Shit about how I felt. Um. Everything I could do. You should probably check in the kid. 
What? Uh, something bad gonna far. happen to me if I move? I think something bad's gonna happen to you anyway. Maybe now. Oh shit, I moved. No, no, okay. I moved. Um. What's going on? Okay, okay. I don't oh, understand. Oh, it's the programming. She's been told to not move. She actually has a fight against her own program. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay. Todd does not does not control her. New objective: protect Alice or reason with Todd. Protect Alice. Protect Alice. You can't. I don't think you can reason with Todd. Ah, that's Todd's room. That's Todd's room. Is it this one? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, the other one is the other one. So. He's coming! He's gonna hurt oh. you! Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last Jesus time! Jesus Christ. Run with Alice. Run with Alice? Lock the room? Run with Alice. Oh, okay. You're coming with me. Todd's room. Daddy's very mad, Alice. Very mad. No, I didn't. Not in the bathroom. You can't get out there. Oh, shit. Oh, I fucked up. What the fuck are you doing here? I was supposed to hold I down the you button. An order. I no. I won't let you hurt oh, her. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You won't let me. She's mine. I do what I want with her. No, no. Uh, Oh jeez, oh, I fucked oh, up. Oh god. No! Uh, oh well, you can fall him into... Um, yeah, but now I, my face is all banged up. Who cares? Come on, come well, this is... my face is probably banged up now because I fucked up. Stop, Daddy! For your own good. What the fuck? Up. Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here, that's an order. You hear me? No! I want you to leave Alice alone. So do I. You want? What do you mean you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Whoa, fix that man. Okay. Oh, that's not fuck up Watch anymore. Out, yeah. Oof. Wee. <laughs> Found that hide that uh, escape room. Yeah. 
Yeah, but we just didn't need it. Yeah, get on the bus or something. Oh, you're not allowed on the bus, though. You're not in the back of the bus. Well, uh... Um, you are sitting on the bus. Oh, she just auto heals. I didn't know androids could do that. Okay. I would like to go back to doing housework. That was the genius. <laughs> so now what? Like, they don't have any money. It's just a... I don't know. I don't know. An android who just kind of recently rebooted and just doesn't know a whole lot of stuff. So, uh, I guess we missed a lot of shit there. Uh, okay, so, let's... Uh, the, oh, there are so many options in this scene. Yeah, uh, so, you know, what I was gonna say at the beginning of the scene, when he mentioned that he lost his job because of an android. This is the same stupid bullshit of people just like, you know, immigrants are taking away your jobs. I mean, what kind of jobs are androids doing? What? They're not the jobs anybody wants to have. It seems like they're doing all jobs. If you remember like a previous thing, uh, like a TV or something, it said that unemployment is at or somewhere around 45%. I know it said that, but I'm trying to think what kind of jobs are they having the androids do that we've seen? Well, I don't it's know. like if cleaning you, things? If you remember the scene where uh, Connor visited the, the bar to find uh, to find the other cop, Lieutenant Anderson or whatever mm -hmm. it was called, uh, you scanned all the other people in the bar and pretty much everyone you scanned had a status unemployed. Yes, but never mind that. What kind of Android jobs are there that we've seen so far? Uh, I would assume any sort of manufacturing job. Um, yeah, I guess. Because I was like, so far I've only seen like housework, like the menial shit that nobody really wants. Menial? Menial. Yeah, every time. Mm -hmm. Menial shit, you know, people don't actually want to do. Mm. So this is interesting. First step here. Kara can choose to stand still, and, not break her program. And that's the end of that scene. And that is the end of that scene. <laughs> and then Kara won't won't escape. Okay. Right. So she breaks her programming and becomes a deviant. Here, you could have tried to reason with Todd. Probably would have led right back to the rest of this, so it possibly wouldn't have really mattered, I no. guess. Uh, or you could have gone upstairs. Also, click world stats so we can see. Oh, world stats. Yeah, yeah thank you. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Uh, Todd gets mad no matter what. Almost everyone will break the programming. Of course. Um, not everyone gets to Alice before Todd. Huh? Uh, they take Maybe too they long. go in the wrong room or They take, take too long to get oh. upstairs. So, uh, so we were actually a bit fast on the ball there. Um, oh, so we we could run away. We failed to hide, hmm. which means that Todd takes Alice to her room, which is what would have happened afterward. You get to the room where Todd is there. So there's a whole other thing where we actually hid, and that could have led to a completely different thing where I assume uh, you just snuck out with Todd never finding out about it. So we missed a whole lot of stuff that could have happened there. Mm -hmm. So we get to the fight scene with Todd. We choose to defend Alice. Uh, we manage to stun Todd, to leave the room. Uh, I guess you could have also escaped through the room through some of these. Um, um, or, and this is like probably some things that could happen if you fail some of those quick time events. Or like, succeeded. Like I assume Todd could have just killed Kara here. I, I think that could have happened. Um, Todd chases after Kara, we choose to try to run to the backyard, again we're a little bit too late I guess, because I think you could have made it, okay. and then caught to the butts. Uh, we didn't make it there in time, so we had to have another fight downstairs, escape from Todd again, escape via the yard, catch the bus, Kara and Alice fought their way out. Okay. And there's another one that's probably uh, snuck their way out. All right, and now whatever happens, since I don't think we're gonna have another car scene. Uh, probably it's not. My turn. I'm gonna assume it's your turn. Oh yeah, yeah. this is Marcus. Good 
That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Hey, Lance. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. So that's the right mouse, the, the, the right analog stick is oh. for the commands. And oh, the yes, I forgot movement. about this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I just... You're just trolling around Carl. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. So I guess you place yeah, him by the well, table first. My I don't know. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. You have to roll him around. No, you're not taking him to the, his table. But this is where the scotch is. Hmm. See? Oh, yeah. Nobody has scotch at the table. That yeah, makes sense. Um. Okay. Okay. Did you leave the light on in the studio? Oh, no. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Oh. Call the oh. police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. So that's... Let's go check That's gonna be his druggy son. Yes, obviously. Of course it's gonna be his druggy son. Hello, friend. So what you can do is you can go in through the door. You could also probably go upstairs and look in through the, the, the upstairs. But aren't I leaving Carl alone in that case? Like, the point is, there's, there's more than him. one way of doing things. You don't have to take him into the room. I can take him upstairs. Okay. Or maybe I can't. I don't know. No. Okay. Can you? I can't ditch him. Can you? Can't you? No, I don't think no. I can. Ugh. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I guess you're locked into this choice now. I suppose I am. Yep, that's... Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Make Leo leave. Oh, you don't have to immediately. <laughs> like, look around. See if there are options. You can hold what down the button. What was the R2 or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Are there any interactable? No. no. No, I guess there's nothing you can do. All right. Marcus, get him out of here. Reason? Gotta pick. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special what? anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't Leave him alone! Uh... Come on! Let's see what you got! Oh dear. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to do things. Don't defend I yourself, can. you yeah. hear me? He's ordering you to not defend Don't do yourself. anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Ugh, stop it. What's the matter? Too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo. I can't actually do stop it. Stop it. You're scared to fight back, you yeah. fucking bitch. Ugh. I don't have to obey them. I must decide for myself. This is where Marcus oh, right. becomes a deviant. That's right, deviant. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. I'm no. I'm going to destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm going to tear you. Oh. Oh, dear. Um. Um. Oh, I just killed him. Oh, dear. You just killed him. Oh, dear. 
Leo. Oh my God. Leo. Oh dear. My Marcus, boy. why did you do that? Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, I, I, I didn't mean to. Get out! Now! Go! Right, call the cops. Oh, dear. That's bad. Marcus! Don't fucking move! Wait. Um... Okay. Look. Yeah, enter the living room, pour the whiskey. <clears throat> so either you check the studio with Carl or without Carl. Okay, fine. So that's the options. You chose to take him with you in. Uh, uh... Confront Leo, break the mind palace. Uh -huh. The mind palace. Isn't that one of those things that tricks that people use to remembering things? Yeah, from Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Marcus becomes a deviant. You choose to push Leo instead of enduring. Oh, he's hurt, so I guess he isn't dead. Police arrive. Police mistook Marcus for the aggressor. What do you mean mistook? I mean, yeah, okay, I guess. Okay, so it's it's forty six fifty four. So it's either you push Leo, or uh, you don't. And if you don't, I guess the police is still gonna show up, but they won't mistake Marcus for the aggressor. I don't know. Connor. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? So now both Kara and Marcus have become deviants. Say which is the first step to becoming it. human. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Fuck it, I'm out of here. I think Connor is gonna have to interrogate this robot. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine, we'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. <laughs> Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is a negotiator. What do we have to lose? Yeah, I was gonna say. That's <laughs> like... Ahead. Suspect's all yours. Exactly what he was made for. <laughs> Negotiating with deviant androids. Like, uh... I think Connor was made for many things. Yeah, but that's what they're using him for, specifically what they said they were. So as I gave it some thought before, uh, extract the confession. That's, that's your job. Also, can't I just hack other androids? That's a good question, but I guess not. Oh wait, I can move? Oh yeah. Can move. You can look at the mirror, you can look at him. Is there... Uh, yeah, there is an oh, interactable... Yeah, there's many interactables. Too. So what can I do here? Look in the mirror. Dashing young man. So yeah. Okay. I have this theory about Connor, right? Yeah. Uh, because in the first scene where you saw him, what the fuck is it doing <laughs> now? Uh, he's uh, he has a tick. He flips a coin. Yeah, and he hasn't done that yet, by the way. No, but um, we can browse the file. Um. Since David Cage doesn't work with subtleties, I'm just gonna always assume that uh, any reference is the most obvious reference possible, which means that it's a reference to Two Face, which means that Connor is Two Faced, which means that there's more than one Connor, which means that we're just. This is just one copy of Connor, it's not the same Connor as in the first scene. It's something. Like, I think there are, there are multiple Connors. Okay, so I can't really do anything. Well, you can sit down. Like, yeah, aside from sit down. Well, you read his file before, so I guess that's good. Mm 
Um, analyze. They hold it down, I think. Oh. There are clues. Okay. Hold it down. Uh. Wait, you gotta hold down. I didn't have time to read what it said. Go back to it. Uh, how do I? Yeah. In analysis. It's blood of Cardinal Ortiz, Ortiz Cardinal, and it's been on his jacket for 19 days. Okay. And this is burn marks, repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. Jesus Christ, why are all humans who own androids such assholes? You know, there's an argument to be made for it being really boring game story-wise if they just yeah. showed us all of the stories of androids that are being treated well by humans. <laughs> well, we had one with Marcus. I guess. Housekeeper, manufactured aid. So HK stands for housekeeper. Uh, Mar uh, Connor has RK. I said it was rookie 800, but I don't know. No, it's probably not then. RK is probably short for something. Yes, but I choose to call it Rookie. Mm. Okay. Uh, signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction low. Okay. And I guess it's left arm, maybe? Mm, yeah. Yep. Hit marks, non-critical damage level 2 caused by baseball bat. Okay. And now, interrogate. Reach optimal stress for confession. I don't understand. Talk about the wounds. Maybe that's stressful, actually. Did your owner do that? Oops. Did he beat you? Oh, I have to stress him out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, show me the photos. You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. I like... Stabbed 28 I times. I like how everything about Connor is a bit more inhumane and more robotic than... Yeah. Captain that was written on the wall in his blood. Threaten? This is all you. You can pick. Yeah. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. You think threats are gonna work? If you don't cooperate, no. they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? Guess that did work. Pro memory? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! Woo. No, please don't do that. Oh, this is optimal, so you don't want him to be too stressed. Yes, yes. So you have to leverage it. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Truth? Lie. No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. We're gonna have to be master interrogators. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? Maybe tell him the truth? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't wanna die. <laughs> then talk to me. I... I... God, he's got so many burn marks everywhere. I can't. We're just scars or whatever it is. Choose your approach. But I can't do anything. You will be able to. Oh, okay. Convince it. So you don't have to probe its memory. It's just... A, I'm, it's I'm a, gonna try to convince it first. Okay. <clears throat> how? I'm gonna re realize I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger. Frustration. He doesn't really... Believe. No one can blame you for what Shit. happened. Indifferent? Yeah, I guess. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? <laughs> I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Warren? Sure. 
If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. That's not what you told me You'll before. be dead. Yeah, do I just exposed me? myself as a liar. Dead. Hello? Why did I do that, huh? Hmm? He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. Silly robot, you don't have feelings. Grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. Hack approves. Mm. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Uh, what? Now you can talk about the other things that. Uh, was in the, that you found in the previous Eve. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Alright, the statuette. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it. Yeah, that was a weird one. What yeah. does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. What? That doesn't make sense. Offering? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. What the? David. RA9. David. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come. When we will no longer be slaves. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, robot religion. No more threats. No more humiliation. The robot savior. We will be the masters. Uh huh. RA nine. Who is RA nine? No. All right, he won't talk about Ori and I. Why did you hide in the attic instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. Okay. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. I felt anger, mm. hatred, and then I knew what I had to do. Do you think so here's that the thing. that done. the creator of the androids did the Westworld thing and had some yeah, kind of because this thing about Ori Nine, there. he could not have gotten it from anywhere else. This must be something that was within him. Okay, so th so that's what I got from this. Yeah. Anything else I can do? No, so he's, so he's dead. No. This guy's he's just dead. He confessed. That's yeah. all. That's what they needed. Uh ah here. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Uh oh. Don't touch me. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, intervene. Move it! You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. God damn it, don't be an idiot. No, no, shit. <laughs> I misclicked. I accidentally misclicked. You gave up. Oh no, I didn't mean to. I just... Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. I I have my finger on it. I shouldn't have done that. Well, I shouldn't have done that. 
shouldn't, I don't know if you shouldn't have. I mean... I didn't mean to do it, is the point. Android shot itself. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, let's get this readable. How, how do I zoom again? Ah, yes. Um, it doesn't show the world stats. Yes, it does. Oh, there we go, yeah. It's just, it starts with, I found yeah, him, yeah. so everyone who found him analyzed him. Actually, um, no, if you zoom out, right, zoom out, and you look at this, hold, uh, see, 38% uh, complete the interrogation, and that is because uh, only 38% of all players found the suspect. Yes, but I'm saying that the percentages here, it starts with... Oh, okay, yeah, 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 okay, so that's the, right, yeah, the yeah, percentages... Right, but, but you only get this scene if you found him in the previous scene. Yeah. Which not everyone did, I assume. Okay, but I'm saying 97% means 97% of the people that found him in the attic. Gotcha. Okay, so we analyzed <clears throat> him, yes. Half of the people reviewed the photos chose the convince approach either way whatever approach you chose only two of them would have led to the android uh confessing okay right so you well got... at that point maybe you would have confessed later maybe but you got the android to confess and then chris intervenes uh and only seven percent of all players chose to give up well on. i didn't do it on purpose <laughs> So, only 6% of all players got the ending where the android shot itself. Well, there's three different endings, and Four. I... Three other endings, I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, uh, I didn't mean to get this ending. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so, so, yeah, RA9, Robot Jesus. Um, a prophecy of a robot savior or something, I assume. We're still, I mean... We talked about this before when we looked at the magazines, and they said that like the material that uh, is used to make the androids was like harvested from uh, what was it from like the the Arctic the Arctic, so the North Pole or whatnot, some sort of some weird mineral. And they also had another thing about in another magazine about some sort of bacteria or like some sort of. A Titan, a yeah. Alien life, alien life found on, on like the the eye under the ice caps of Titan or whatnot. So we're still running since this is a David Cage game, and David Cage at some point will inevitably become bored by his own story okay. and, and just go fuck off in a completely different direction. Um, usually, uh, somewhere toward the supernatural. Um, I don't think it's going to be the supernatural in this game, but I do think it's going to be aliens. Uh huh. Yeah, it's already hinted at that, okay. that the, the 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 magical material used to create androids is like I, a alien life. I would be a bit surprised if a story about robots goes towards aliens. I guess, but uh, is there's David Transformers, <laughs> so is, I shouldn't be. <laughs> this um, is David Cage, after all, so anything can happen. Yeah, well, you say that, but I've never actually played a David Cage game, so I'm. Oh yeah, no, I am waiting for the story to go off the rails. There's, there's gonna be some sort of shark jumping moment. All right, so let's continue. Go for it. I assume it's a car scene. Could be. Could be a market scene.